This is an AOR AR2000, basically a scanner. It dates from around uh, 1991, certainly early 1990s. Covers up to, I think, about 1.3 gigahertz. But what's probably slightly unusual for a scanner of this era is that it also covers HF. In fact, it covers right down to uh, medium wave. The only modes it scans are uh, AM and FM, of course. Well, you've also got wide FM if you wish to listen to um, the band to broadcast band. But it will receive HF uh, using AM mode. Now, it's made well before the days of computer programmable scanners. So it's very limited in terms of the inputs and outputs on this uh, unit. Just got a belt clip on the back and the battery compartment. This radio takes four AA batteries. Okay, uh, we've got um, an extensive keypad on the front panel, which is how you're going to have to program this radio via the keypad. On the top panel, let's get the antenna out of the way, we've got an attenuator switch, local and DX, um, volume and squelch on a concentric uh, control uh, here and a VFO a tuning knob and of course we have uh, an earphone jack 3.5mm uh, earphone jack and that is basically the radio so <clears throat> since my main interest is HF and shortwave listening what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try this um, AR2000 on HF with uh, probably with my trap dipole antenna. We'll see how it performs on the HF bands. I'm not expecting great things from it. Most people that would have bought these would have bought them really with the intention of scanning the higher bands. Um, if you can see the um, the markings, the legends under the keypad, you'll see that it's got uh, preset uh, search ranges for VHF, FM, VHF, Air, UHF, Air. VHF and UHF amateur bands, VHF marine, VHF PMR, C mobile, whatever that is, C base. I think those are cellular, as back in the day, um, before everything went digital, you would have been able to receive uh, cellular telephone conversations on this radio. And uh, then we've got the buttons for search and scan, lockout and delay, mode selection buttons here. We've got bank selection, we can uh, set limits for the search ranges and a programming key and uh, a backlight. Backlight's relatively feeble on these, but um, it does serve a purpose, I guess. So there it is, the AOR AR2000. Let's take a look at it on HF. I may possibly go into the VHF and UHF performances of it uh, in another video. And we'll also look at how easy or how difficult it is, it is to program the memories on this as well. As I said, uh, no hope of computer control in this scanner. But um, for its day, I suppose it was a fairly advanced uh, unit. Uh, compared to the modern day stuff, it's quite big, it's quite heavy. But it does still work. And uh, I don't know, let me just see. Yeah, there's my local two meter repeater coming in there just on the um, on the helical whip that's on the scanner it's a little bit noisy but it is there and as you can probably see the other thing is there's no um, signal strength indicator on this at all okay there's nothing to indicate signals being received no S meter it's a quite basic display let's see how it works in the shock on HF
corrupción y a los ataques del Estado. El fado de Feijó que contrasta con la alegría del independentismo, el expresidente... <risa> de la ley Mordaza primero y referéndum después. La ley de... Okay, so that was just a little short uh, demo of, um, we looked at 19 metres, we looked at 49 metres and 41 metres. So this radio, it does work, the filtering's a little bit wide, and each time you change bands, each time I punch a new frequency in here to go to a different band, the radio reverts to FM and it loses the 5 kilohertz step that I set here, so you have to reset that. So it's not the easiest thing to tune, but it does work on shortwave. Wouldn't be my first choice as a shortwave receiver, but it does actually do the job reasonably well. And we've heard in that little scan through it, we heard a couple of, uh, we heard Korea, we heard Thailand and lots of other stations. So it's not too bad at all. I'll do a future video when we'll have a look at VHF and UHF and show it scanning. And also program up a few memories. It's, it's a fairly laborious pro, um, process as you can imagine. Uh, doing it on the keypad and I think there's something like a thousand memories in this radio so it would take quite some time to uh, fill all the memories and uh, the other thing is in this day and age of course an awful lot of traffic on the higher bands of VHF and UHF commercial traffic is uh, digital and quite often encrypted this uh, little radio just receives uh, AM, FM and wide FM that's it um, I don't know whether we can see the light any better. Yeah, you can just about see the backlight there. It does work. 
Display's not too spectacular on this, but it's all very functional. This particular unit, which I was given some years ago, I don't think it's ever seen much use. Um, it came with a little case as well, which has kept it um, in reasonably good condition. So there you are, that's the uh, AOR AR2000. That was how it worked on a couple of the uh, HF broadcast bands. And in another video, we'll look at it on UHF and VHF, and we'll do some uh, keypads, keypads, some memory programming. Thank you for watching.